What's up gamers? Welcome to the show where I keep you guys updated on the latest in gaming news. We've got three news reports to get to in today's show, so let's just get straight into today's gaming news. And our first news report is coming to us from Star Wars Battlefront because a brand new developer diary episode from DICE is now up for all of us to check out. The diary episode shows us some basic behind the scene footage of how the game was created, but one thing in particular that they've thrown into the diary is that we actually get a quick split screen screenshot which shows us the first and third person integration into the game. If we pause the video we can see the bottom image shows us obviously the first person view of the game and then the top image you could probably argue that it's the third person view that we're going to see in the game. Obviously the angle of the third person camera could most likely change in the final build of the game but for now this is all we've got to work out what the first and third person view is going to be like. So yeah that's pretty cool if you're like me and you're wondering just how they're going to do the whole first and third person thing in Battlefront. But if you want to check out the full diary, then that will be linked in the description below. But now let's get into our next news piece of the day. And it's about Halo 5 Guardians, because today we were given a look at a brand new cinematic trailer for the game, which shows us some combat footage from Spartan Lock. As well, we get to see a new exclusive armor set, which we can grab if we pre-order the game through GameStop. The armor piece is going to be for the multiplayer portion of the game and does actually look pretty cool. But unfortunately, the the only way that we can get this armor set is if we pre-order the game through GameStop, which sort of sucks for us Australians and, well, anywhere else in the world outside of the US because we don't have GameStops here in Australia and the only way to get this armor piece is through GameStop and the only thing that comes even close to a GameStop here in Australia is EB Games, so hopefully this becomes available as a pre-order bonus for other retail stores as well, not just GameStop because that would sort of suck if the only way to get the armor is if you live in the US or in Europe, but it is only a custom armor set so it's not really that big of a deal but yeah if you want you can check out the full trailer it will also be linked in the description below but now to our last piece of gaming news for today and a brand new patch for Mortal Kombat X has been released the patch includes some gameplay tweaks as well as a whole bunch of new costumes for a whole bunch of the characters including the classic Sub-Zero skin which is pretty awesome and along with the Sub-Zero skin we also get some custom skins for Ermac, Kano, Reptile and a whole lot of the other characters as well anyway Anyway, you can check out the full patch list and all of the new character skins linked in the description below. And guys, that's going to be it for today's gaming news. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And if you did, hit that like button as always. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well. Follow me on Twitter if you want to know exactly what I'm up to and exactly when the next video is going to be coming out. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and stay gaming. has introduced a new system which is supposed to reduce the amount of spam and phishing accounts that we come across. To prevent these spam accounts, Steam is now bringing in limited user accounts for accounts that have not yet spent $5 or more on the account. So basically, if you haven't spent $5 or more dollars,